Do you have a bunch of people in your life telling you that you need to go out more? Well, stay tuned as we talk about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today's problem is unsolicited advice, all right? But anyways, welcome back to another video where this week I'm diving into the topic of how to be a better person. And these are basically life lessons that I've learned over time and soon I'll be jumping back into more scientific mental illness type stuff. But anyways, share this video. Share this video if you have a bunch of people in your life saying that you need to go out more. All right, because we need to really, really talk about this. And this video was actually inspired by my buddy Kay over at the channel Bipolar Pug. So make sure after this video, you go check out her channel and subscribe. Not only does she talk about her struggles and uh, successes with bipolar disorder, she talks about a lot of mental health stuff. She's an amazing, amazing woman, and I really love her channel, and I really want you to go check it out. So please do me this favor and go check her channel out and hit that little subscribe button. She basically made a video recently about social isolation. Now, this might sound contradictory to anybody out there who has subscribed to me for a while and has watched my other videos about how isolation can actually fuel depression and anxiety, and I'll touch on that in a minute. But let's talk about the unsolicited advice of people saying, you don't go out enough, you need to go out more, go out more, go out more, go out more. Like, back up back up like it blows my mind like that people think that you need to do certain things like everybody's personalities are different like i i am a very social person when i am in social situations i'm very social i will talk my face off but most of the time most of the time i just like to sit and relax with maybe one or two people many 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 of my weekends are with my girlfriend and my son i have maybe maybe three or four close friends and like two of them live in other states. You know what I mean? Like I'm not constantly going out. And especially as you get older, um, me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, like the bar scene, the club scene isn't really my thing. Like I hear a lot of people like who think that Las Vegas, that's all we do. But no, I like never go out there. Like uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram this weekend, we were out on the Las Vegas Strip because my mom was in town. And like, I was just telling my girlfriend, I'm like, man, like most of this is my worst nightmare. Just shuffling along, with a billion other people, like, I don't like it, especially anybody out there who struggles with social anxiety. I just don't like it. And like, a lot of you might be able to relate. Like, and here's the thing too, like, there's nothing that says you have to go out X amount of times to be happy. Like, I used to go out just because it was the social norm or it's what my friends were pressuring me to do, and I was miserable. I was miserable, so going out was not making me happy. One of the themes of this video is like, why are you valuing the opinions of other people so, so, so much? Why are you letting it get to you that they say you need to go out more? Like, if you like to chill and just sit at home and stuff like that, cool, if that's your prerogative, do it. I remember when one time one of my best friends, the one I went to go visit in California, she said this years ago, and I lost it because the people at her work were telling her, like, you should come out, you need to come out, you never come out, da 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 And like, she just doesn't like to. Like, she's not in recovery, but she doesn't really drink or party or anything like that. She likes to hang out, watch Netflix with her cat, maybe go to some record stores and things like that. And she goes to a lot of concerts, but but like she doesn't do the whole clubbing scene. And I'm like, girl, do your thing. Do what makes you happy. You do you. So like, I'm here to let you know that if you don't like going out into public social situations all the time, cool, do that. I am letting you know that it's okay. And if you have any friends or family members out there who say that you don't go out enough, share this video with them. Say, hey man, this guy Chris over at this mental health channel, The Rewired Soul, don't forget to subscribe. He is talking about how you don't gotta go out that much. Now, here's what I will say. Like when I was talking to uh, my buddy Kay about this when she brought this up in her video, like it's 2018. Being social has a whole different meaning to it now. Like for example, Kay and I have never met in person. She lives over in England, okay? Me and her have never met, but we, we socialize and we interact through like Instagram or on Twitter or whatever. My buddy Charlie over at Authentic Mental Health, he lives in another country. We talk on WhatsApp. I talk to people all over the country. I'm constantly talking to to so many people and being social. Socializing in this day and age is not always face to face. You can be extremely social 
without even stepping outside of your door. Now, like back maybe 10, 15 years ago, like maybe this was kind of weird and things like that, but like anybody who really thinks like, oh, that's not healthy, that's not healthy, like they need to get with the times because they're romanticizing this old day and age where you had to go out and meet people. And like, no, it's much different now. Um, my girlfriend got me into the podcast uh, of Jenna Marbles and her boyfriend Julian, and they were actually talking about gaming and how gaming is a social activity. Like, a lot of my really, really good friends, the people I've built strong relationships th uh, with, like, they're online, they're gaming. Like, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite lately, and like, a bunch of guys that I talk to most of the day are guys who live like on the East Coast, and we've never met in person, but we like talk and we socialize, we talk about work, we talk about life, we talk about our cats, we talk about all sorts of, or all sorts of stuff, and this doesn't involve me going out into public. So like, I just really wanted to rant about this because like, man, it bums me out seeing people's mental health worsen because they value the opinions of other people telling them that they need to go out more. You do what makes you happy. Now, like I've mentioned, Isolating makes uh, anxiety and depression worse. So you gotta find out what your balance is. Like, don't isolate all the time. Like, go to a coffee shop every now and then. Go, uh, go shopping. Like, don't take too much advantage of like how everything can get delivered to your door. Like, do certain social things just because science has proven that being around other humans helps uh, increase different neurotransmitters in your head. But for the most, uh, for the most part, you will also get these neurotransmitters uh, going by just talking and building strong bonds and relationships with other people. So find a community, find your friends, find people online. Like if you're into art, go on Instagram, find other artists. If you're into like a certain TV show, get into different communities, go on Reddit. Find people who are into the same stuff as you are and socialize online. I I beg of you, I beg of you, okay? Like, just don't keep everything in and not talk to anybody. Start building relationships wherever you can, okay? So again, like I said, share this video so people can quit bugging other people, trying to tell them how to run their life and they need to socialize more and go out more and blah, 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 all that other stuff, no, 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 no. Share this video with them and hopefully this will give them another point of view on the subject. But do me a favor, let me know down in the comments below. Um, are you more of an introvert? Do you like to stay inside? Um, how do you build relationships? Do you have friends who are online through different communities? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love, love, love to hear from you because you sharing that in the comments might actually help other people who are watching this video, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you would like to support my mission to spread some hope for anybody struggling with mental health issues, go ahead and click or tap on that right there. All right, so thanks again so much for watching. Do your thing, and I'll see you next time.